Hello, uh, this is the UFR 1001E G593 compliant relay from Zeal in Germany. Uh, two main things I want to show you on this one. The first one is the selection of the code. The codes that are pre programmed in the unit for the UK market are 20, 21, 22, and 23. 20 being 3 phase 4 wire, 21 being 3 phase 3 wire, 22 and 23 being VT operation, 22 57.7 volts, and 23 being 100 volts. When you get the unit, it's programmed and enabled. You need to check. You can see here there's a red LED underneath a padlock which indicates the unit's locked. That means you can't change any of the values here. You can normally just go down through them, and there's your second level at over voltage. So if you scroll to the right, it tells you it's on. It tells you the value is set at 273 volts, and the hysteresis is five seconds, etc. So you cannot alter any of these values. So if you try to change that, it tells you locked and the LED flashes. So that's fine. That's for a three phase four wire system. So we'll go down and we'll check the code and go up to check the code in actual fact or down because it's the bottom of the menu or the top if you go up. So at info, you press this right arrow key, which is also your enter key when you're changing values. So if you go to the right, it tells you the firmware. That's the version inside the unit. It tells you the serial number of the unit, which will scroll across. It tells you the hours run the unit has gone. It tells you any error messages, and there's some errors, common errors here, so you don't need to refer to the manual. And then it tells you the program. So here we can see, clearly see it's program 20, which is the one that we want. If you have to change that, you have to go in here and change this. So we want to change that to program 21, just for purely for this exercise. So we'll go, just go back to the menu and go down. So in order to change anything, we need to unlock this. This plastic toggle here, which has this wire plastic seal on it, comes like this from the factory. This is where you put your wire seal through these here. So you take the seal off, you turn this unit round, and you can see underneath it there's a blue pin at the top. And that pin is depressed by the moulding, so if you push down on the moulding, you see the LED flickers and goes green. So now if we come here and we go up to the info again and go right, we see it's 21, so 20, sorry, we want to change it to 21. So we've got to 21 and we accept and it says no, that's the default in case you've made an error. So we said no, but we know what we're doing, so we're going to go to yes. So you press that and it will now flicker and the unit will power down and power up again. And that's how you change the code for the configuration and you have a 20 second countdown. So if we go up and we look at the info, go right, serial number, hours run, error messages, program 21 is now active. And if we go to the values for program 21, we will see the over voltage should be 476 and there it is um, okay so now we need to go back to the beginning we don't have you can turn the unlock at any point but just come in here lock your system again and away you go and you can come in here and you can see if you go in you cannot change any value it says locked okay thanks very much